students welcome to your channel please like share and subscribe your own channel school studies school studies is pleased to announce the launch of our educational website padel section after years of hard work and dedication we are delighted to officially announce the launch Today we will see a video related to NCERT solution for class 10th English chapter 2 Nelson Mandela long walk to freedom So let's solve the textbook exercise The first one is the activity on page number 17 A column A are some expressions you will find in the text make a guess and match each expression with an appropriate meaning from column B So these are the expressions of column A and B So the correct option Let's match it with the correct expression. A rainbow gathering of different colors and nation. A beautiful coming together of various peoples like the colors in a rainbow. The seat of white supremacy, the center of racial super superiority. Be overwhelmed with a sense of history. Feel deeply emotional, uh, remembering and understanding all the past events that have led up to the movement. uh there is uh, resilience that de uh, defies the imagination a great ability almost unimaginable in to remember unchanged by suffering not losing hope goodness or courage a glimmer of humanity a sign of human feeling goodness kindness pity uh justice etc a twilight existence a half secret life like a life lived in a fading light between sunset and darkness next oral comprehension check that is on page number 18 and 19 the first question in that is where did the ceremonies take place can you name any public buildings in india that are made of sandstone the ceremonies took place in the lovely sandstone Epitheater formed by the Union Building in Peritoria, which were attended by dignitaries and world leaders of several nations. In India, the Rashtrapati Bhavan and the Red Fort are the two public buildings that are made up of red sandstone. Next, can you say how 10 May is an autumn day in South Africa? Generally, the autumn season signifies the harvest season that is associated with the abundance and prosperity. Tenth May is an autumn day in South Africa because of this auspicious day, the installation of South Africa's first democratic non-rational government take, took place in the presence of the largest gathering ever of international leaders on the South African soil. Next, at the beginning of his speech, Mandela mentions an extraordinary human disaster. What does by he mean by this? What is the glorious human achievement he speaks of at the end? In Mandela's speech, an extraordinary human disaster. He wanted to express the practice of apartheid in South Africa. During this practice, there was a rational. segregation of people based on color and the black people suffered the most as they were discriminated by the rest they could not enjoy the right to freedom mandela was jailed as a prisoner for 18 years on the infamous robben island where he was mistreated by the authorities he considered it as a great glorious human achievement that he became the first president of south black president of south africa where the blacks were revived of basic needs and suffered different kinds of discriminations and were, were treated badly next what does mandela thank the international leaders for mandela felt extremely privileged to welcome the dignitaries and international leaders at the swearing in ceremony because it was not too long ago when the south africans were considered outlaws he therefore thanked all them all of them of for having 
come from far and wide to witness the historical oath taking ceremony of the first black president of south africa this was wonderful gesture of international recognition to a newly born free democratic nation this event could be considered as a human common victory of justice peace and human dignity next what idols does he set out for the future of south africa mandela set the idols for the liberating the people of south africa from the continuing bondage of poverty deprivation sufferings gender and other discrimination he wanted the people of the country to enjoy the right to freedom from all forms of bondage and prejudice next what do the military journals do how has their attitude changed and why the highest military journals of south african defense force and police saluted and pledged their loyalty to mandela this was a great significance and as otherwise during the apartheid era they could have arrested him and put him behind bars their attitudes changed towards blacks due to the struggles and sacrifices that were put in by many heroes of south africa this struggle of freedom was not just a struggle with apartheid but brought a massive change in mid sets of many people mandela believed that love is something that could be taught and human beings are naturally inclined towards love more rather than hate next why were two national anthems sung on the auspicious occasion of the inauguration ceremony the two national anthems were sung the white sang their national anthem and the black sang die steam that was the old anthem of the republic both the anthem symbolizes the equality of rights with between whites and blacks how does mandela describe the systems of government in his country in the first decade in the first decade of the 20th century the white skinned people of south africa patched up their differences and iraq erected a system of racial dominance domination against the dark skinned peoples of their own land this created the basis of one of the ha- harshest most inhuman societies the world has ever seen or known in the final decade of the 20th century in the final decade of the 20th century the previous system of government had been overturned forever and replaced by one that recognized the rights and freedoms of all peoples regardless of the color of their skin what does courage mean to mandela according to mandela courage was not the absence of fear but the triumph of over it a brave man is not one who does not feel afraid but one who conquer that fear which does he think is natural to love or to hate mandela thought that love comes more naturally to the human heart rather than hate what doing obligations does mandela mention mandela mentioned two uh, two obligations that every human has in life obligation to his family to his parents to his wife and children and he has an obligation to his people his community and his country next what did being free mean to mandela as a boy and as a student how does the contrast he contrasts this uh, transitory freedoms with the basic and honorable freedoms like any other ca- kid mandela felt freedom meant to be happy make merry and enjoy the blissful life in his childhood years however when a young fellow becomes an adult the entities of childhood look transitory because all the childish activities are worthless from an adult's perspectives uh, when a person becomes an adult he learns to earn a livelihood and earns on his own bread and butter in such a scenario he understands the basic and honorable freedom in his family and the society that he lives in next does mandela think the opposers is free why or why not mandela does not feel that the opposer is free because in his opinion an opposer is like a victim of hatred 
who is locked behind the bars of prejudice and narrow mindedness he perceives that both the proposers and the opposed are robbed of their humanity and peace of mind why did such a large number of international leaders attend the inaugurations what did it signifies the trump of being a part of the inauguration ceremony the international leader showed a gesture of solidarity from the international community to the concept of end of apartheid he this signified the victory of good over evil and the trump of a tolerant society without any prejudice and discrimination of caste color and creed next what does mandela mean when he says he is simply the sum of all those african petroit who had gone before him by saying he that he is simply the sum of all those african petroit mandela offer his tribute to the all people who had sacrificed their lives in favor of the struggle for freedom he says that he shall always remain grateful and thankful to those who had gone before him because those freedom fighters had paved the path of cooperation and unity for him therefore mandela felt that when he comes to power he will bring equality among his people all along with their support and cooperation next would you agree that the depth of opposition op 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 create heights of character how does mandela illustrate this can you add your ex own example to this argument Yes I agree with the statement that depths of op operation do create heights of the character Nelson Mandela illustrate this by citing examples of great heroes of South African such as Oliver Tam Tambo Walter Sisulu Chief Luthulis Yusuf Dedos Bram Fischer's Robert Subu Subukwis among others who inspired other people by sacrificing their lives in the long struggle of for freedom in india's pre independence era there was a galaxy of great leaders who didn't give up to the opposition of british rule such as netaji subhash chandra bose mahatma gandhi sardar vallabhbhai patel lala lajpat rai chandrashekhar azad bhagat singh and many more nelson mandela seemed to be absolutely right if we compare if we compare them with the qualities of political leaders that india is having today next how did mandela's understanding of freedom change with age and experience with age and rich experience mandela understood the essence of freedom in everyone's life as a young boy he always thought that he was born free and could not could do anything that he wanted he strongly believed that as long as he obeyed his father and abided by the customs of his tribe he was free in every possible way however as he grew older he started feeling that freedom was acquired to raise a family and to earn livelihood this started dominating his thoughts and views in due course of time he realized that he was selfish and was leading an insulinary life during his boyhood he slowly understood that it was not just his freedom alone that was been curtailed by the freedom of all the black people was retrenched mandela understood that his people were being derived and discriminated and this led him to develop a hunger for the freedom of his people next how did mandela's hunger for freedom change his life during his youth mandela realized that it was not just his freedom alone that was being curtailed but the freedom of all black people the hunger for his own freedom became the hunger for freedom for all his fellow brothers and sisters in the process they changed the fearful man to a bold rebel mandela sacrificed the comforts of a settled family life to fight for the freedom of his countrymen he joined the african national congress and he changed this changed his perspective from a frightened young man into a fearless person who fought against racial prejudice and color discrimination next 
there are nouns in the text formation government which was this which are formed from the corresponding verbs form and govern by suffi suffixing a t i o n or m e n t there are there may be a change in the spelling of some verb noun pairs such as rebel rebellion constitute constitution make a list of such pairs of nouns and verbs in the text so these are the words these are the nouns and these are the verbs the rebellion is rebel constitution is constitute formation is form government is govern obligation is oblige transformation is transform discrimination is discriminate De deprivation is deprive demonstration is demonstrate oppression op oppression means op oppose imagination is imagine next we have to read the paragraph below fill in the blanks with the noun form in of the verbs in bracket so martin luther kings the word is contribute so it will become contribution to our history as an outstanding leader begin when he came to the the next word is assist so it will become assistance of rosa parks a stream seamstress who refused to give up her seat on a bus to a white passenger in those days american blacks were confined to po positions of second class citizenship by restrictive laws and customs to break this law will mean subjugation and humiliation by the police and the legal system beatings imprisonment and sometimes death awaited those who defied the system martin luther king's tactics of protest involved non violent resistance to racial injustice next to using the definite articles with name so mr singh regularly invites the amita bachchan and the shahrukh khan to his party the, this implies that mr singh regularly invites prominent personalities of caliber such as mahatma uh, sorry mr amita bachchan and mr shahrukh khan to his parties many people think that madhuri dikshit is the madhubala of our times This implies that in the current generation, Madhuri Dixit is compared with the great actress Madhubala. History is not only to the story of Alexanders, the uh, Napoleons, and the Hitlers, but of an ordinary people as well. This means history is not only the story of great uh, fighters such as Alexander, Napoleon, or Hitler, but also of other ordinary people. Next, match the Italian. italicized phrases in column a with the phrase nearest to the meaning in column b i was not unmindful of the fact i had forgotten was aware of the fact when my command dates and i i were pushed to our limits so felt that we could not endure the sufferings any longer to reassure me and keep me going help me continue to live in hope in this very difficult situation the basic and honorable freedoms of learning by keeping earning enough money to live on so this was chapter 2 of ncert solution for class 10th english i hope you like my video thanks for watching my video thank you Please leave comment question or doubts in comment section if you have any or you can drop a mail to us you will find my email id at the end of this video you can also join us on facebook page follow us on instagram connect us on linkedin or tweet us on twitter thanks for watching my video thank you